Especially because the fact that they attacked the two countries both with um, very high tensions. Yeah. If, you know, Erebonia goes weak on them, you know, shows them some leniency. Calvert will be like, what the fuck? Right, exactly. Would Calvert have a case to try and extradite them at this point? At this point? Uh. Given it's that quite they loud. Oh. conspiracy to interesting. It's really loud. Okay. Yeah, it did suddenly get louder. I mean, it's just, it's still super quiet on my side, so it's it's just Skype being Skype, so let's just ignore that as much as possible. Okay. Also, the people in Calvert don't have a group of plucky young it's JRPG true. protagonists to explain what's actually going on. Crossbell isn't uh, in Calvert, right? No. And there aren't there have been games set there. Uh, this is uh, Calvert is the only uh, principality that, or uh, the only nation state we know of that has does not have a, a, a game series set. There. No plucky young JRPG protagonists. It's true. How tragic. We have a we have a plucky young set of, tr- of protagonists from Liberal. We have one from a set from Crossbell and one from Arabonia. Well, this isn't a very plucky group. Reen's pretty plucky. No, Reen's sort of just going with the flow. Um, Milliam is incredibly plucky. Milliam is incredibly plucky. Um, so is Sarah. Yes. <laughs> That's a good response. It, it's generally a question you should ask before the classified briefing starts. <laughs> I think. Oh, oh, now we get to this. Okay. That was, that's, that's pretty, um, you, you caught that, huh? Interesting. I mean, I'm pretty willing to agree that she is a child, given that... Well, yes. She's a child. No, no, it's definitely suspicious, Emma. Don't try and... Don't try and downplay this. Well, I mean, it's not like we were suspicious of her when she was running away from the border outpost. Yeah, and we were chasing after her. No, it wasn't a border outpost. It was a fortress in the inside of the Oh, that's right. That one, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, uh, uncertain globe. She was the one that in, in the last chapter there was a big um, break in at the fort that we were that Machias was blamed for, and she's the one that did it. Also, her weird white bodysuit looks pink right now. Yeah, I can see it. Well, yes, it's it's the color pink. I hope you can see that. Um, colorblind. Yeah, but you can see pink. It's a shade of red, so... Oh, hey! It's another person who's not a part of this military, who apparently keeps walking into, like, military-based, probably restricted areas. So, uh, this is... This is important. This is a, uh, a shout-out, because if we've played the Crossbell games, we've already met him, so... This is a, this is a, you know, a, uh, what is it, a lampshade hanging? No, it's just a call-out. Okay, sure, it's a call-out. Or a call-back, I guess, because yeah. this game was made after that, so sure. Right, yeah. It's a, hey, by the way, remember this? So, seriously, how, how do all these people get it, keep getting in here? Well, um... I... Can we just fire Zex? He's really <laughs> not good at his job. He's pretty good at his job. He's better than some people. Um, one of the first rules of being in charge of a military base is make sure random people don't go walking into the rooms they don't belong in. Uh-huh. Did he show ID? 
Like, uh, did I, he notify the base personnel that he was going to be here? He's part of the did intelligence he, division. He doesn't have to. Yes, he does. More so than yes, anyone. Yes, you do. Do you want to know, do you you want want know what somebody most... who calls himself a spy yeah. poking around in places without you knowing about it ahead of time? Because they're spies. Uh, please hope they were to say, so you're the redhead that's always noticeable no matter where he goes in the world. <laughs> um, actually, everybody in Crossbell's a redhead. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. He's the perfect spy. The trade conference. Also, I bet you something's going to happen at the trade conference. You are um, correct. Of course I am. Do you think that there's going to be a stuff. blockade by the trade organizations? Uh, um, his I'm name, assuming that... His name didn't I'm assuming surface. that Crossbell has a... Uh, or sorry, Calvert has a Senate as well as... You know, they've got a dual chamber house. Dual chamber, uh, Probably, I know they're a they're they're yeah. a republic. Right, but you can be a republic with a unicameral legislature. Yeah, okay. You don't need to have a bicameral one. I guess that's fair. And you also don't need to have both houses have power. It's kind of a unique thing. But I I think I've gone a bit too far in trying to force this to be a joke. Star Wars episode one. So. Yeah, you kind of killed it. Uh, what's your screen name again? Yui. I don't know, but if I killed Yui. it, that's a good thing. Yeah, awesome. Yui. I'm killing it! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, slow down. Or not. Okay, fine. Don't slow down. Oh, dog, so why'd you slobber on me? Stop yes, Emma, you. that is exactly what an intelligence division is. Thank you. Oh my god. So we did just notice that the only person who spoke up for the really suspicious person <laughs> is the other really suspicious person who yep. never actually gave us any proof that he was supposed to be there yeah. and just sort of bullshitted his way in and out of this room. Yep. With the person who has all the information from the mission that we just did. Which seems like it would be kind of useful in a debriefing sort of situation. It would be. I'm sure they're all on the up and up. All on the up and up. Also, don't most militaries have, like, age requirements? Uh, maybe. And I mean, I know that... Historically, there have been lots of cases of people lying about their age to enlist in the army for various reasons. Yep. But or, you know, it could be just be this. No. I don't yeah. think so. We already said this wasn't Game of Thrones. Okay. Okay, I guess that's that's reasonable. I mean, we're child soldiers. It's, it's a good thing we did a great job confirming it. <laughs> yeah, there does. If only we had an army that could deal with it. Also, this... This game has, or this world has phones, right? Yes, we've yes. seen the girl use phone. We, the girl used a phone, yeah. right? We um, we have only, cell, only we have like one. the first cell phones, but there are actual phones. Yes, right, there are landlines. Yeah. yeah. So, has Zex called like the capital? <laughs> no. I don't know. Because it really doesn't seem like it. Because he's going to get about, into the roof here. Him averting the war, and him determining, like, what posture he should be taking. And those seem like questions sort of for the high command and the political leadership. Not whoever happens to be in charge of the closest outpost. Okay, sure. Especially since it's been, like, a day. No, it's been, like... That's... 
Okay, yeah. It's been like half a day. It's been a few hours. Well, no, it said like 14 o'clock, so that's like 2 p.m. Yeah, and the so it's been is, it's been maybe 12 hours. And this since here is distinctly evening. It's it's like five o'clock now, and the the yeah. remember that the outpost was attacked at like 3 a.m. Right, that's basically a full day. Okay. And if the outpost is attacked at 3 p 3 a.m., you call the capital at like 3:01. It should be one of the first things you do. Also, it's a shame that Millium is no longer in our party and will never be back. That's true. I don't even know why they, like, made levels for her. It seems kind of pointless. Well, because she needed stats. Well, she can have stats, but you can just set, like, these are her stats, because she's a guest character. And I mean, not, like, she has all... Like, they don't need to assign her level ups and all that. Why not? It's like a pain. Because it... Because it's programming a bunch of extra stuff that isn't going to matter. Or it might be simpler because they can just use the same base code as all of the other characters rather than having Precisely to create a time. second set of code for a one character. Oh, I wonder if Comrade we told the uh, army commander about this guy. Know. Probably. Comrade C. I oh, shit. wasn't expecting it's you to come all this way. Motorcycle gang. The leader has to make sure all the gears are moving as they should. It sounds like the plan uh, was a resounding has to learn how to success. Delegate. Keep your pity to yourself. Our aim was to stir up a conflict with the Republic that would force him to let his guard down. Oh, got a can opener. To that end, this wretched state of affairs could hardly be called a success. And yet, even this outcome will work to our advantage in the days ahead. After all, we demonstrated that he faces the risk all of right, his I'm race being divided now. without warning. Not much. At any time. Cool. That's a normal People voice, right? Ominously. Yeah. I was like, that's and a normal voice, Maiden, right? Nor Scarecrow can hope to outwit us. You guys remember who Icy Maiden is? Vaguely. Uh, it's probably Emma. It's Captain Claire. You have a point. Oh, yeah, she We is should just... begin making preparations <laughs> for the next step of our plan. The time has also, finally I don't know come why to present would be ourselves of their on the world speed stage. Divided all of a sudden because nobody's done that in response to anything. <laughs> like, if anything, That's the, the military groups around here have just consolidated again. Which sounds like the opposite of being divided. This is definitely how I know I could never be a part of some super secret villainous organization. Because every time I saw that guy, I'd make an eyes wide shut joke. And I'd get killed. Ooh, boy. At least all's well that ends well, right? Well, in group A is safe, and we she is barely a spy. avoided war with Calvard. Well, we know she's a spy. Yep. Well, I can't say I was expecting the, the intelligence division is, to show up when they did. Didn't she go with the other group? I uh, no, I don't think she went with either group. Remember, she was still in Trista and talking to um, Sharon about when she was going to get back. She can teleport. Oh. A jet black Well, yeah, airship. they're the the statue Probably teleporters. Probably one of Reinford's latest you know? models. The military Whoa, uses wait, them for really? reconnaissance. The nobles and the rich no. just use them for fun. But as for how they got one... They paid for it. You yeah, I was like, I was like they, people new, obviously seem pretty rich. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna call bullshit right now. Yeah. What kind of conspirators you really are have every one, single Sarah. rock, it's almost like, troubling. every single rock behind them is apparently yeah. just <laughs> full of characters? I agree. <laughs> I'm impressed that you can tell I was there. Well, like, apparently you just got a guess and everybody comes out. You sure could have said nothing. 
I felt a familiar sensation, though, just like, for a second. Like, what's the name of the, uh... Makes me think back to... What's the name of the student who likes teasing her sister? Oh, li uh, Vivi? Yeah, Vivi. Because she's up in a goddamn tree right now. Yeah. <laughs> this one time, two years ago... Two years ago, you say? Never mind. Isn't that but you really don't know dying them. in the back? Where that airship came from? I'm afraid not. I checked the Rhineford Group's manufacturing records and couldn't find a trace. At least not in the official files. Wait. Didn't they just find <laughs> out that they... That Sounds the like Rhineford had has its own issues really to deal with. model airship, like... Right uh -huh. now? She's yes, they did. Sharon is hyper competent. Well, let's put that aside for there, now. There's hyper competent. I'm on my way to the settlement. <laughs> she doesn't have those files with her. What are you planning? You don't know to what she's hiding under that corset. Well, not hmm. very much. It's a corset. There's, there's no well, room to hide. Well, I would like things. to give my regards to Master point. Gwen. Just... So I would like to accompany them all in. If that's all right. <laughs> I can hardly wait to see the look on Lady Elisa's face when I show up. You are very obviously some type of assassin. <laughs> Sometimes this is a I weird... actually feel We bad knew for she that was girl. some sort of. Well, we knew that she was some sort of former like mercenary or secret agent or something. I Who agree, but about? it's like Sharon. Sharon. Okay. She has killed yeah, people. That was, that was made she clear has a killed while people, ago. and at one point she was sexually attracted to that act. That is who she is. Okay. I'm not wrong. I didn't say you are, did I? No, but I know I'm not. I'm, I'm just not saying anything. I'm neither confirming nor denying. You don't need to. I know I'm right. Okay. Also, you know, given that Calvert apparently didn't believe those people we captured had anything to do with their base being attacked, <laughs> they're kind of passive about that. We yeah. probably beat a confession out of them and they accepted that. No, but Wait, they, they during the debriefing, first, uh, the general said, hey, you know, Calvert doesn't believe that these guys were behind it, so they're still planning to attack us. And then he said, well, let's take the tanks off of uh, high alert. And well, no, then just what, nothing happened. What happened was um, Lecter took control of it, and Lecter is apparently hyper competent in negotiations, so he convinced Calvert to back down. No, he threatened him. I, I didn't. That that I didn't say he didn't. <laughs> he's hyper competent. He's he's very good at negotiating. Threatening. Very very good. It seems like this is a plot where a lot of people are very good at doing things that happen off screen. Who the hell yes. are these people? This is Gaius' family. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, okay. Gaius has a family, remember? Gaius' mom and dad and all of his siblings. All. I didn't remember any of it. Okay. Oh, they look vaguely Mongolian. The yes, vaguely? It's true. <laughs> uh, yeah. I said they just look Mongolian except with, like, theme more park stuff going Mongolian. On with their hair. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. I like that term. Theme park. Mongolian. Numbers is probably more correct. Doesn't Japan have one of those, like, around-the-world cultural uh, amusement yes. parks? Oh, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Isn't Don't they have a Disneyland? They do. Yeah. It's really, really and weird. Doesn't they have the It's a Small World ride? Uh, probably. No. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. No, I'm saying, like, they actually have, like, a full amusement park that's, like, all the, like, all these different cultures of the world being, like, like, like a theme park thing. Like, you can go to a Mongolian yurt. You can go to the Brazilian Carnival and stuff like that. Huh. That I don't know about. Oh, um, this is Elisa's grandpa and he is creepy. Oh, he's the perv, right? Yep. Yep, see? Bam! Nailed it. Nailed it. Man, Japan, just get sexually liberated already. I mean, he is an old guy. So. Yeah, but yep. like, okay, Admit, admittedly, how many old guys in your life have made genuine open passes to women? Sorry, sorry, I age? mean, he's our an old president guy elect. Japanese media. Nope. Doesn't count. Public figure in the media. I'm asking in your life, like, like oh. just 
your grandfather, your... I'm not saying right, they don't I, exist. I, I'm just I saying they saying don't exist that, on the level that seems to be so right. common in Japan. Japan, it right, seems I like wasn't you literally saying it was realistic at all. Libido. I was saying oh, I know you it's aren't. one of the most common things in Japanese media that old yes. people are perverts. Yes. Right. Old men are perverts. Yes. Yes. And old women, if they are married, are beautiful, but if they're not, they're old and evil and mean and stuff. And ugly. Well, not necessarily evil, but they're certainly about two feet tall. Yeah, that's true. Formerly five feet tall, and now they're just folded over. <laughs> folded over. It is weird. I wonder where that comes... I mean, I know, like, in countries where, like, getting married is considered more important, but why the depiction of them being not, like... Like, you know, like, like there's the old angry woman is just, like, so prominent for anyone who's not married and over, like, 40. And it's just kind of depressing. Um, Do they just... If I had to make a completely uninformed guess, or guess, and I do, because I have access to the internet... I like you say, because I'm a scientist! (laughs) Well, I just can't be contradicted because it's the middle Uh, of, you know, a conversation. That's fair. And they can't hear us. (laughs) Oh yeah, I forgot, this guy's also Tony Stark. Yes, yes. Wait, really? Basically. He built the railway he cannons. Looks, he kind of looks like him, a little bit. Does he have an well, Iron Man? Well, I mean, he, that he actually makes sense, because Tony equipment. Stark is a huge pervert, too. And then too. he decided... Yeah. Like, he built a bunch of military equipment, and then was like, Whoa, this military equipment I bought, or yeah. I built, I never should have built it, so I am, like, leaving the company. Oh, so yeah. he's like, actually is Tony Stark. <laughs> and yes. Except that he left it to his daughter and not his girlfriend. Gotcha. Well... Tony Stark doesn't have a daughter. Exactly. If he did, he would have left it to his daughter. Yeah, probably. He's a b- big believer in dynasties and bullshit like that. Oh, Ooh. so, um... Oh, Stark. Stark? Yeah. Stark. So, um, someone in the thread mentioned something that I didn't know about, um, Zimmer, about the geography, uh, which is that, um, uh, Calvert and Erebonia share a very long border that is very mountainous. And the two least mountainous places are um, on the border of Nord and through the middle of Crossbell. So Crossbell is, um, uh, besides the financial gain of owning Crossbell, both countries it's a want it's a it's a gateway between their countries. So if either one of them can hold Crossbell, they have a lot of power to pressure the other one. Yeah, so the, it's the low countries. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That and that's, that's also why part of that's also why the border world. of Nord is so important because it's another place. Like Nord isn't Arabonian country, but it borders it, it it borders Calverts, and it's a place where the troop where troops could come across and then get I mean, into. It's kind of interesting cal- that that's how it the, uh... works because that's not how like a lot of geography in the U.S. or not in the U.S. but in our world works. Like mountain ranges are seen as basically almost more impenetrable than oceans it's yep. why it's why people go like india and china will very likely never truly be at odds because the concept mm. of having to fly everything over which would really be the only way any sort of massive movement could happen right. would just be so pointless that and i mean you know i mean think we about also it. know yeah uh, geographically we also know that in between Nord and Erebonia is a giant mountain range because we right. had to go through it. And they had to dig yeah. a huge tunnel to get the um, the train through it. Right. And, like, one of the first things that would happen in a war is that tunnel is going down. Yeah. Right. And then, um, so, er- and then Erebonia can't get any troops up there. Well, no, I was going to say, if Calvert attacks through... Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, Nord, right. then... Erebonia can like, blow the up the tunnel can do and is then... Take Nord. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's fair. It's just funny that they would, um, that in this world, like, the mountains do the opposite, more or less, as they like, well... No, 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 he no. said that the, the only passes oh, yeah. are at Nord and yeah. Crossbow. So it's like yeah. an actual gap, like an actual just space in the, um... Yeah, yep. Okay. The less mountainous parts, yeah. It's, okay. it's the, um, Nord and, uh, Crossbell are the, the lowest-lying places... That the of the shared border between, um, or 
yeah, it's it's the it's where the mountains are less um, are are not as high as on the rest of the border. Okay, that makes sense. Right. Hey, um, the mountain range in Calvert also goes along the border to Liberal, which is where the first two games take place, and so the border between those two countries is uh, much less uh, well guarded than the border between Liberal and Arabonia, which is uh, much lower land. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Also, I'm Never. guessing that Liberal and Arabonia have tensions. Uh, more tensions, yes, than Liberal and Calvert, given that. Two of those countries had a war about ten years or so back. Yeah, uh, Liberal and Calvert have always been friends. Uh, Liberal and Arabonia had a war about twelve years before this game. Because this game is two years after Trails in the Sky. That also seems like it would lead to interesting geopolitical situations, because Nord and Liberal are basically on the opposite sides of Arabonia, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Let so... pull up a map, actually. Yeah, you can uh, well, just I'm look just up. Saying, like, I I can show you a map. Basically, if that's okay, uh, I got it. If Arabonia and Calvert went to a war over here, they just instantly get sucked into a two front war. Yeah. How do you mean? Because everybody, all, cause, well, everybody would smell blood. Uh, in the water. Lip- liberal presumably is allies with Calvert and hostile to. They well Arabonia, no so they well no in. um after after some later events there is some there they have a much better um uh after the events of the Trails in the Sky games their um uh, their relationship with Arabonia is much better than it used to be. The Arabonian member well, of the uh, of the of the of Estelle's party may have had something to do with that. Okay. What would be the best thing to search for this as far as, like, finding a map? Um, it's Z-E-M-U-R-I-A is the name of the continent. Got it. Alright. Okay, here we go. Nope, I accidentally hit Google Maps. It didn't pop up with anything. <laughs> oh no, it popped up to Google Maps in Kirkland. That's nice. Interesting. It probably just yep. went for for complaints. Go here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a little. That's really not that detailed. I can maybe find a better. Oh one. yeah, I forgot how small Liberal is. Yeah, Liberal's tiny. They should have gotten their asses kicked. Um, except that, uh, Cassius Bright is a badass, so no. Nope, 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 that does not work in the, like, the amount of technology that they have shown is there is no warrior. Like, there's infantry. It's, it's, I mean, it's more than that. Keep up the good work. The, the, Maybe, um, but... um, he... Hey! There... Perfect! You figured out the old schoolhouse mystery. Huh. I did. Yep, and I got my S. Good job. Wait, oh, you what? that bad? How did... What? How did... But they were on... In different teams. And that's how they work best together. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Machias has a gun. Alright, fair enough. Uh, are you pretending to be surprised like you do when the plot is being revealed, or are you actually... No, surprised? I actually didn't know no, that I think I was he gonna... was actually surprised that that was being the mechanics. Okay. <laughs> I actually didn't realize. I actually didn't know is... that the bonds of... I thought it was only the current party bonds got got um went up. I did not realize that that uh the that um everyone got Glinky XP with the people who were not in their group. Gotcha. Are we gonna call it quits tonight? We can stop here. I'm cool with that. I I I, I so, sorry to say I, I would like to partially just because yeah, Bailey's no, that's fine. gonna be home soon, and yep. then that's gonna make it a lot harder to record. Yeah. No, that's totally fine. That we we finished chapter three, so that'll be that'll be good. And then we can um, do more later. All right, perfect, you guys. I enjoyed chatting with you. All right, well, this has you. been our our first uh, new recording session, and I thought oh, yeah, it went still, pretty well. We're still actually recording. <laughs> so we can just say like, sayonara and and you know, uh, ciao, arrivederci, anyhow, any of those. Good night, everybody. <laughs>